Meet the new 13.2 Huawei MatePad Pro. It's massive, has a ton of accessories that'll up your productivity, but is still sleek and ultra portable. But can this tablet actually replace your laptop? Let me tell you, it makes a really good case and it all starts with this massive screen. Before we talk more about the display, can I just say that the tablet looks really good and is surprisingly thin despite its size. Now here it is compared to my daily driver. It's a 14 inch laptop, but here's the Huawei MatePad Pro compared to it. And just for comparison, here's my iPad mini. You have to see it in person so you can really appreciate how good it looks and how thin it is. But anyway, let's get back on track and talk about that screen. Like I said, it measures in at 13.2 inches, has thin bezels, giving it an insane screen to body ratio of 94%, and is at the perfect aspect ratio of three by two to make it great for multitasking. Now, for example, you can use the multi-window function on the right side and have a document under it. Now, remember that you can also resize these windows so that you can see better. And if it wasn't subtle enough, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So as you can see, you definitely have more vertical real estate when you're multitasking, making you scroll a little less when you're browsing through your reference material. And again, because of this massive screen, it really helps this Tito out so I don't have to squint so much so I can actually read stuff. Of course, it's not all about work with the Huawei MatePad Pro. It's also great for watching your favorite shows, movies, or your favorite YouTubers, wink, wink. Image quality is fantastic because it happens to be the world's first tablet with a flexible OLED display that has less than one Delta E, which just means it's extremely color accurate. Huawei has also equipped the new MatePad Pro with fantastic speakers. This was one of my worries when I first got this device. Since it's so thin, I wasn't sure of the audio quality. And let me tell you, there is no compromise it sounds fantastic i was also worried about how the lows would sound or how the bass would sound and again no compromises here they somehow produces such good bass despite being this thin now here's a bit of a sample so you can kind of hear what it sounds like Another reason that makes the Huawei MatePad Pro a potential laptop replacement are all the accessories that you can get with it. First up, you have a magnetic stand if you just want to watch movies or have a client presentation on the go. It's nice, sturdy, plus you can easily adjust viewing angles to your liking. Now, if you need to get some serious work done, you also have this magnetic keyboard that also has a trackpad. So again, you can be mobile, do work anywhere. The keyboard feels really great to type on, the spacing on the keys don't feel cramped, and the travel, although shallow, feels great to type on. I also don't recommend you doing this, but it is. Yeah, magnets are pretty strong on this. Just, just don't like massively like drop it, but pretty safe in case you know accidents happen. So there, quick magnet test. Plus again, trackpad, just in case you need to do stuff on Canva or on CapCut. Speaking of getting creative, another accessory that got a big boost with the new Huawei Mate Pad Pro is the third generation M Pencil that now comes with near link technology. Now, to be honest with you guys, I'm not big on using a stylus except when signing documents or a bit of note taking, but you can really feel how much better it is than what I normally use. For one, they're saying that the accuracy is insane and the sensitivity is off the charts. And to test this, Huawei asked me to put 20 sheets of paper in between the tablet and the pen itself to see what it would look like. And I actually did a side-by-side -side test between the Huawei MatePad Pro and my iPad mini and the Apple Pencil. And here are the results. Now, these are super light strokes that I was doing and revealing what the Huawei MatePad Pro and the new M Pencil can do. You can see that there's some broken lines, but compared to the iPad mini, and you can definitely see a huge difference because it's basically just a dot for the iPad mini. Again, let me qualify. I don't use a stylus on a daily basis, but all those improvements do sound extremely beneficial for budding artists and you avid note takers out there. Of course, having all those accessories means very little if you don't have the software to go along with them. Now, thankfully, Huawei has been working behind the scenes together with the folks that brought us WPS Office so you can get a PC level experience on their app. So whether you're writing up a report for school or documents for work, or if you're like me, a content creator who creates a ton of scripts, WPS works really great on this, of course, paired with that fantastic keyboard too. By the way, the app also works seamlessly with Huawei's Superhub clipboard, giving you easy access to any photos and text you might need on the project you're working on. 
Another great benefit this time around is that if you have office mates who are running on WPS as well, you can collaborate in real time. So less exporting the files, sending them via email. So again, just taking those micro steps to collaborate together. Great with a Huawei MatePad Pro and again, PC level WPS. Also a big bonus if you're on the Huawei ecosystem, since this is a super device, you can pair this with your smartphone and easily drag and drop photos into something like a note. So if you're creating a mood board or just wanna create a cute post of your sleeping dog, you can easily do that. Lastly, I think one of the reasons why that the Huawei MatePad Pro can possibly replace your laptop has to do with battery life. Because yes, a laptop will be more powerful than a tablet, let's just face it. But what good is all that power if you don't have the juice to run it. The Huawei MatePad Pro easily lasted me a day and a half so you don't have to worry about running out of battery in the middle of a meeting or looking for an outlet in the coffee shop because let's face it, those outlets are probably taken by other people already. And when you do have to charge this up, it supports 88 watt charging. So charges up fast and you spend less time tethered to a wall. And to give you guys a better idea of how fast it actually charges, this is how I started this morning on the Huawei MatePad Pro. Here's the percentage 15 minutes later, and at 30 minutes, and finally after 45 minutes. So it charges super fast, and again, lasted me a day and a half. So can the Huawei MatePad Pro 13.2 inch replace your laptop? Like I said at the beginning of this video, it does have a ton of potential. It's extremely portable for its size. You have all the accessories you need to be able to get some serious work done. A display that is beautifully large plus has fantastic speakers to boot. Software supports for productivity tasks and fantastic battery life so you can be on the go for longer. So if you're looking to get a tablet in 2024, the Huawei MatePad Pro 13.2 inch is definitely a fantastic option. I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out. But that's pretty much it for me. My name is Tito James. Peace, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time.